I've had a lot of people asking me how you get to New Game Plus in Grounded. So I'm here today to show you guys exactly how to access New Game Plus or to use the Remixer. So what you guys are going to need to do first is you are going to need to go through and beat the game. That means you need to get to this point where it says go home, activate the spacer like it does in the upper left hand corner there. Once it says that, you need to go through and you need to start taking on some bosses. You're going to need to fight the brood mother. You're going to need to fight the mantis and you're going to need to fight the wasp queen. So after you have gone through and beaten those three bosses and have beaten the java matic and gotten to the point where it's time for you to go home, that's when we start going from where we are right now. So the first thing you guys need to do is you need to make your way to the left side of the back of the pond. If you guys don't know what I mean by that, I'll show you right now. So you want to run right over here. You want to jump into the pond. You can either jump in the pond and go across it like I'm about to, or you can go around if you want to. It's completely up to you, but it is on the other side of the pond. You want to just go straight across right over here, going as quick as you can. Try not to get eaten by Trudy, by the way, but let's make our way over there. All right, so once you're on the other side of the pond here, what you're looking for is a giant crack in the wall, okay? Inside of one of these cracks in the wall is where you're going to find the path into the Java Matic room. So you'll just run across the wall over here. You'll see that there's some small cracks here, but as you run across, you're going to notice that there's one that's quite a bit larger than all of the other ones and leads to a path that leads back into a large door. That is where this is going to be. So we're just going to keep running across here and it's going to be right up over here. Here. So this is exactly where it is, guys. So if I open up the map, this is where you get in to access it, okay? Right here on the map, zooming out, it's right directly north of the oak tree. You go directly north, and that's where it is. You'll walk down this pathway that's right here, and you're going to come to this door. Now, if any of these do not have a cross on them, you need to complete that task. So if we look at this, you could see the Java Matic, you can see the brood mother, not the infected brood mother, just the regular brood mother, the mantis, and the wasp queen. As soon as all three of those are dead, you can open this door. It's going to open up right here. Very good. And then you're going to walk your way down this awesome looking hallway. Now, this is by far, in my opinion, the coolest looking lab in the game. So as you walk through here, go ahead and take a look around. By the way, that looks disgusting. But other than that, let's take a little bit of a peek around. We have some pathways that go back over there. I have no idea what those are going. This is all just aesthetic stuff. You can't actually get back there. But this lab, to me, is the most detailed. It has the most stuff in it. It looks like it's actually being used for work. Okay. Now, before we go up there, let's hit that. We're going to read this note here. Research notes. Remixer repurpose. First, the bad news. It's been clear that I cannot simply pluck smooth skin from the alternate dimensions Wendell to re place this horribly raisin sheath. I've been thumbing through the folds of every reality just to find another wrinkled Wendell only to find him doomed to this very same fate. A sort of cursed concurrent universal parallelism, work will need to continue to find a suitable vessel to inhabit. The good news is, of course, the remixer is perfectly suited for yoinking other things from this apparent loaf of adjacent dimensions, chiefly toast. Perfect toast. Each of the remixer's output modules have been modified to control quantum superposition slots for bread. If I'm to spend the remainder of my days down here, I shall spend them without a moment wasted on anything less than perfect charred bread. In the developing unsettling news, I fear that the repeated occurrence of this switcheroo is having some compounding effects on space-time in this little corner of the yard. One cannot help but to wonder if suitable cracks might be forming in the plasma globe, or if it's merely a trick of the light. 
Could they foretell the existential, existential threat of an invasion of the unknown or invitation to the unknown? Who knows? Time will only tell if this phenomenon will become a tra tragic testament to human hubris or a mirage in the desert of our understanding. The uncertainty lingers thick like the cartoon scent trail of immaculately toasted bread. So, more or less, what that stating is, you are literally shifting reality when you use this guy. So, looking through here a little bit more, you can see the the lab is set up, looks really good. But more importantly, guys, is this lab right here. Now, there are a couple things in here for you guys to pick up. There is toast over here. Burnt toast, crispy toast, and some perfect crispy toast, and some perfect toast that's down in the slots. As well as looking around here, if you see these red slots, there is a place to pick up toast as well. You can go through and pick that up if you want to. It's a snack. If it's crispy toast, if it's burnt toast, it's fertilizer. If it's perfect toast, it's a really big buffing item for you. And there's also a scabby in here. Now, I'm not going to pick any of that up, guys, but I am going to go through and show you what happens when you go through and hold the remixer and activate the super toast. So, it says, point of no return, the thing you're about to do has big, permanent consequences. If you have any unfinished business in this playthrough, please turn back. So this is giving you a last minute chance before you go through and remix your entire backyard, but if you press continue, your yard will reset. Your bases will not be lost. Your armor will not be lost. All of your upgrades will not be lost, but you will get the opportunity to upgrade your character even further, and you will start unlocking all sorts of new things. Let's go ahead and press continue here, and this is your cutscene. And here we are in the new backyard, guys. You'll notice that there is some toast here now that you can pick up if you so want some more toast. And you'll notice that there's now anomalies detected. Science infusions. Change things in the yard. Things are different out here, guys. If you go into photo mode and you go into free cam, I want to show you guys something here really, really fast. If you come up here and you look, the color of the sandbox has changed the color of the house has changed there are bot there are bosses and enemies around in the backyard that are now infused with science and have different attacks and it will continue to get harder and harder as you go through and remix time and time again now what i will tell you is every time you do this you're going to have to go through and beat all four labs you're going to need to have to do the haze lab the hedge lab the uh, pond lab and the black ant hill lab you go through you do all four of those you're going to need to go find wendell scabby go down fight the mant again get wendell do the java matic once again make the embiggening cocktail once again once you have done all of that you're going to need to fight the three bosses again be warned every single boss that includes the infected ladybug at the bottom of the haze lab the brood mother the mantis the wasp queen the infected brood mother uh the mant director schmechter the assistant manager all of them have new abilities due to you going to new game plus so let that be a warning for you but guys i give this to you as a way of saying good luck and have fun in new game plus i know you guys can do it it's an awesome time once you get there don't forget to check out all the new weapons and stuff that you've unlocked because you've gone through and gone to new game plus i've already made a video on all the new weapons that come once you get to new game plus so guys go check that one out but guys that's gonna do it for today thank you so much for watching if you guys have any other videos you want to see let me know down in those comments and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one